in this video, we are going to be looking at uh, how we can get least square estimates from normal equation. In our previous video, we've uh, derived <coughs> we've derived normal equation. This is what I have here. So we want to get least square from this normal equation. What we just do simply is to introduce our Kramer's rule. And when we introduce our Kramer's rule, what we are going to do with Kramer's rule, we get our B naught and B one. Now the objective is to get B naught and B one. Now because we want to get our B naught and B one, let's quickly put that one here first. B naught and B one. This is what we want to get. Now, having understood this now, I can just open the matrix here. Let me let me start from here. Okay, this way now. Then I take my value beside B naught here, which is n, n. Then beside the B naught here, which is e x one, e x yes. Then value for this value for the B one, which is e x. Yeah, value for the B one down here, which is e x square. If you look at it very well, I've not used something here. I've not used something. What is that thing I've not used? If you look at it, I've used B not and the value, B not and the value, B not and the value, B not and the value. What is that thing I've not used? Can you just figure out that? Yes, I've not used this. I've not used the particular one. So I'm going to put it here because it's very, very important. I'm going to put it here. Summation Y, then summation Y, X, X. Now, quickly, what am I going to do? I just find my determinant straight. And I'm going to find determinant. So if you want to find the determinant, the major diagonal minus minor diagonal. So my determinant, determinants, my major diagonal here, I multiply it together, minus my minor diagonal here, minor diagonal, multiply it together. So I'll be having major diagonal A, multiply, multiply by, and multiply by, multiply by what? E x squared. Minus then the minor diagonal ex here times ex and be ef squared. That's my determinant. And to get my b naught quickly, to get my b naught, what I'm going to do now is just to find my small x over my small x over my determinants over my determinants. So let me let me find my small x now. I can find my small x. Let me find my small x here. If I want to find my small x, what I just do simply is just what I just get my b naught. Now this value might be not, I take it away, I replace it with the value here, so I can have something like this, the value here now being representing B0, which is summation Y, summation Y, X. Now, I have not put the B1, so I write it back here, because I'm not deriving B1 now. I have EX, EX squared. So I close it here, so my final answer will now give me the major diagonal, I multiply the value of the major diagonal, which is going to give me EX squared, EX squared multiplied by E uh, summation y, sorry, uh, summation y, the minus summation x here multiplied by the one on the same minor diagonal, which is uh, this will be summation x times summation y x x summation y x. Now that's my small x. So that now now if I want to get my b naught now, I want to get my b naught now. What am I going to do? I just have equals. Please look at it very well. I want to get my B naught. <clears throat> I'll just have my B naught X. Now I have my X already. Capital that, please. Capital it up. X over my determinant. What's my determinant? This is my determinant here. N. Summation X squared. Summation X. I'm putting it in bracket. That's my B naught. That's my B naught. This is how to get my B naught. So if I want to get my B1. I can simply, you know, let me rub up this since we are cutting this now. To get my B1, it's just the same pattern. The same pattern. To get my B1. To get my B1, I'll just do the same thing. I can represent my B1 with small y, small letter y now. So that's my B1. So my B1, let me say my B1 equals small letter y over determinant again. Determinant again. So I find my small letter y first. Small letter y. So if I want to find my small letter y now, now don't forget I'm looking for b1. So I will take away the value of b1 here. I will represent with the value outside here. So I'll write again n summation x. Now value for b1 will be uh, removed. I will have this summation y x. Summation y x. Now so the major diagonal multiply by this now to get my y that will be n summation y x 
minus summation x summation y. Then to get my b1 now, b1 by y, n summation y summation x minus summation x summation y over determinant. What's my determinant? Where's my determinant? Yes, this is my determinant here. Who? Oh, my determinant, summation x squared minus summation, I can bracket it. Uh, let's do it like this x squared. That's my b1. That's all. That is our normal. That's our, that is our b1 for normal. We've gotten our b0 and this is our b1. For normal, that is derivative for normal least square estimates. In our previous video, I'm going to input value. Please subscribe and get more of our video. Thank you.